How's it going everyone? It's Sam. BlackRock has recently been talking about what they want to do for their clients, what they think is a proper allocation towards Bitcoin. They've been holding a Bitcoin investor day as well. I want to go through that. Also go through what was just announced, which is uh, going around Twitter very quickly right now. A gold mining company that said that they are going to acquire about 25,000 Bitcoin which at today's prices is somewhere between one and a half and two billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. This is really interesting. I want to cover this because there is more to it than what you're just seeing on Twitter. If you don't mind, hit subscribe. Turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this as soon as I make them. There's also going to be a link to Marjex underneath the video. I have a tutorial on something that I've been doing recently that's paid off really well. You can see we did have this reverse head and shoulders as well. Now, some people are saying that this may be part of a bigger head and shoulders, like a normal head and shoulders, and we may see further downside. So if we break the $74,000 mark, that's really where a lot of bo uh, bears are not gonna have really any like to stand on. They're just going to have to flip bullish or continue to be bearish for no reason. So I'm paying attention to this. If you want to trade, like I said, there is a link to Marjex underneath the video. They just revamped their platform too. It looks really good uh, and it works really well too. They have great customer service. You can talk to someone usually within a few seconds of writing them on the website, which is fantastic if you have questions. There's also a link down there to CoinW as well in case you want to trade spot cryptocurrency or futures. Now, let's take a look at the ETFs today because we did have a big day from ibit we had about one uh, about 2.6 billion dollars in volume from ibit here today much more than gbtc which is right around 1.34 fidelity is right behind gbtc at 1.26 billion i would not be surprised if we see a nice inflow day from the etfs now i don't know that this is for sure going to happen but I would not be surprised since we had so many outflows last week. Some people are probably buying the dip a little bit. They took a look at it for the first time throughout the week and they're like, oh, well, I should buy some more. And they log in Monday and buy some more. You can see MicroStrategy doing extremely well today as well, uh, up 22%, 2.25% after the market closed. A lot of miners doing quite well too. As you know, CleanSpark is my only Bitcoin miner, but it also was up 20% for the day, so not bad at all. Now, we've been looking at how much Bitcoin's on exchanges. We've been looking at how much the ETFs have been buying. Uh, this just came in that Coinbase hit a new nine-year low in terms of Bitcoin on their exchange, 344,000. Now, this is after in 2021, there was about a million Bitcoin on Coinbase. Like That is a big change. It's gone down, the supply has gone down by 65, 66% in three years. And again, we're going into a halving, so we're gonna see less new supply at the same time that we're seeing less and less on exchanges. Uh, this is quite bullish. And if you look at, let's just look at this chart. This is all exchanges. Going from about 2.75 back in July of 2021 to now just about 2 million. So not going down quite as much as Coinbase. You can see probably US investors with a rigor for buying more Bitcoin, but across the world we're seeing the same thing. 2 million Bitcoin left on exchanges. This has decreased by what 25% or so over the last three years. So obviously this will have an effect on price and already is to some effect, but will have more of an effect as time goes on. BlackRock, head of digital assets, and again, we'll get to the news about someone buying 25,000 Bitcoin. BlackRock head of digital assets, Robert Michnik, says, for our clients, Bitcoin is overwhelmingly the number one priority. Now, uh, to be clear, when he was talking about this, it was actually at their like new annual Bitcoin Investor Day, which is really cool. This is coming as of, I believe it was last Friday. Basically, though, he was he was talking in respect to other cryptocurrency assets as well. Like Bitcoin is the number one priority ahead of Ethereum, ahead of Solana, all that kind of stuff. But if you remember, this was a leak from about a month ago, and I didn't make a video on this. BlackRock private Bitcoin event insider leaks major takeaways. So this event that BlackRock's head of digital assets was just talking at was, I think, more public than this private event. What was said in this is that it would not be 
well, he's here it says advises a 28% Bitcoin allocation, but uh, they said that it's not uh, unreasonable. It's not unreasonable to have a, a 28% portfolio allocation to Bitcoin. And the reason this got brought up was because that's what some of the numbers suggested that you should have. Uh, you should have 28% towards Bitcoin and the, the quant analyst said that's not unreasonable to consider a 28% allocation towards Bitcoin. So this is geared towards their large investors. This is geared to institutions. This is geared to uh, people that are in the inner circle. Like, hey, yeah, it's not it's not a bad idea to buy a lot of Bitcoin right now. And that's kind of crazy when you think about it, right? This, this institution that's been around for a century is now talking about going 28% in one asset. I mean, I'm not sure they would say you go 28% in anything besides maybe like the S&P 500 or something like that, or the BlackRock 500, whatever, uh, besides Bitcoin, right? They're not going to say to do anything this risky besides Bitcoin. Uh, and I say this risky is in they're never going to say to any other asset that's as volatile as Bitcoin to go 28% into it. They're not going to say that about Tesla stock or Amazon, right? They're not going to do that. But they are recommending, or maybe not recommending, but saying it's not unreasonable to go very heavy into Bitcoin right now. And so far, they've been right. This was from a month ago. Bitcoin's up, what, 30% in the last month? Something like that. This just came across uh, Twitter. Gold mining company Nilum Resources to acquire 24,800 Bitcoin worth $1.76 billion. Now, I saw this going around. I saw a lot of people posting about this. I had never heard of Nilum, so I wanted to figure out what this was. And this is on uh, Global Newswire. So this is being pushed out by the company, most likely. This is an OTC pink list, which means that it's a small company. I looked it up, and I saw it right around a million dollars market cap. But they announced that it's entered into a letter of intent with Zyber, cyber data uh, to acquire 100% of the common stock of a special purpose entity to be established under the name MindWave that will hold 24,800 Bitcoin. Nilum Resources Inc. will issue a newly authorized preferred class of Series C stock in exchange for 24,800 Bitcoin at a discounted rate relative to current market prices. So it looks like more people are commenting on this Nilum Resources deal. Again, it sounds like they're just raising a bunch of capital to buy a bunch of Bitcoin. Obviously, there are going to be more and more companies that do this. And as the price of Bitcoin continues to move up, this is more likely to continue to happen. I mean, think about it. If you have a company that is doing okay, but it's not growing as quickly as you'd like, how do you get it to balloon 5x or 10x in market cap? Well, you probably go raise some capital, buy Bitcoin, and then continue to stack that, just like MicroStrategy has done. And you can get really cheap debt, unlike a lot of people. So uh, it is a good way of accumulating more Bitcoin. MicroStrategy already was like a couple hundred million dollar or billion dollar company when they started doing this. And it wasn't 100x or 200x more uh, than the company is worth. Actually, this is like 2000x more than the company is worth. So it is a weird situation, but hopefully we'll get more clarity on it at some point. And this is brand new, like this is just coming out. So no one's really done a deep dive on it. Now, just a friendly reminder, I am highly invested in Bitcoin, but this is something that I was gonna, this is something that I'm going to invest in here soon on the Tencent Launchpad, a Rainmaker, two eyes. This is a app where you can actually train AI and get rewarded in cryptocurrency. This is just part of what they do, but their uh, IDO launch is on Tencent, April 2nd. And I've done videos on how to get in on the Tencent Launchpad, but be on the lookout for this. I'm gonna be investing in this, like I said. Now, this is a really interesting chart. Bitcoin's returns versus every other asset class. I mean, this is based on returns. You can see 2020 or 2011 through 2024 annualized. Bitcoin is almost 10x the next best performing asset. The NASDAQ 100 would have given you a really solid 18.3% return. If you go down, US growth would have been 15.7. I mean, pretty much everything's done well over the last 13 years if you just zoom out enough. But Bitcoin has outperformed everything. And what what strikes you about this chart? Okay, we have three up years, one down here, three up years, one down here, three up years, one down here. So most likely 
we're going to have another good year another good year this year then another good year next year or at least another green year and then we're probably going to have a red year in 2026 so i mean if you're just looking at the past of course we don't always see the same things happen year after year uh sometimes we have new data that comes in that breaks the old trends but if you're looking at the past three good one bad three good one bad uh, well, I would expect us to have a nice couple of years here moving forward. Let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. Again, you can check out the links to Margex and to CoinW. It does look quite bullish in the market. So again, you might want to build some positions up. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.